What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we used Mumbo to turn on the power in most of the areas here in Witchy World. And in this episode, I am going to try to go after these notes over here, these last ones that I have been missing. There we go. Let's grab those. And uh, we're going to be trying to collect the remainder of all the stuff here in Witchy World that we have yet to get. So one thing that I have not done yet is actually go up on top of the Big Top tent itself. So I'm going to head up here, and we're going to try to... I think I, I can do this. Let's see. Okay, come on. Eh. No, oh, gosh dang it. It's really hard to stay on this thing. If I can do that, that would be... Why? Okay, what is the center camera button on in this game? I actually can't remember. Golly, okay, maybe I should just do it with Banjo. Screw it. I think I can do it with just him. Eh. What is the center camera button again? Hold on a second. What is it? I actually genuinely want to check this out because I don't know what it is on this controller. It is... Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. You just have to hold the, the trigger down. Or the bumper, excuse me. So, let's do that. Eh, get... On the thing. Banjo! Seriously! Okay. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Why am I struggling at this so much? This is really not that hard. Ha! <sighs> There's got to be a better way to do this. Okay, there we go. Tiptoe through the tulips. With me. There we go. Alright, so now we can get ourselves a Jinjo. So let's do that. And then... Right here, you'll see that we have some other types of shoes that we've never seen before. We will not be getting access to those until much, much later. So don't worry about that too much just yet. But for now, after I've gotten that Jinjo, I'm going to head on over this direction. And actually, there is a springy pad over here. So let's hop up on that. Oh, gosh dang it. should have gotten this right at the beginning as soon as I like entered this level, but I never did. And there is the burger pad! I'll just pop it back on the grill, and the, and the punters will never know. Oh, uh, I've been rumbled. Yeah, this guy, somehow more incompetent than the fry guy, but not as much of a dick either, which is kind of funny. Although, of course, Kazooie can be a dick right back, which is what counter- Oh, jeez, that's disgusting. Fancy a burger? Big Al sells the tastiest burgers in the world. Ugh, how on earth did you get a job in catering? Well, I'm not sure, really. I used to clean out the toilets. I've lost my appetite all of a sudden. Go on, give him a try. I've got a few left. You want them? I like how even his name tag says his service is only one star. Okay, kid, burger's coming right up. And you want fries with that? Oh, yes, please. Well, too bad. Burgers is all I got. Go see Salty Joe. It's okay. We only need the one burger anyway. What? I've got no more burgers left. Better root around for some more. I think there's one just under your left foot. Where? I can't see it. All right, so this burger we can now take over to the Chubby Kid back in the Inferno area. So let's do that really quickly. And then we're going to start tackling Space Zone and going on up to the Saucer of Peril. And I am going to hopefully not flounder around with that minigame too much because, oh my gosh, that minigame can be a test of patience. But uh, let's hop over this and head on inside. Okay, where is this kid? I think he's just directly to my right, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. So let's give him a burger, and unfortunately, this is not going to be sending him right back to mom. Thank goodness you came. I'm really hungry. Don't you think you've had enough? No way. I just need a burger before I go find my mom. Oh, you've got some burgers. Please, 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 can I have one? Yes, we'll give you some food. Here you go. He just eats it immediately. Yummy. Are you okay, kid? You're looking a little er, uh, full, shall we say. My tummy hurts. Please carry me back to mom. I can't stand up. I'm not surprised. So the carrying part is another story. We need to get another ability that we won't have until much, much later in the game. So that's the part where we're just going to have to leave that kid be. So hopefully that single burger satiates him for a few weeks because <laughs> that's going to be how long it is until I get that ability, if not a few months. Now I think about it at the rate I upload these episodes, I'm just going to stay with Talon Trot. So I don't get shot here. And let's go back to the space zone. So we're going to want to head on over to the Dodgem's Dome itself. And from there, we can start doing some, ah, grappling to get to where we need to go. I mean, I guess I could also just take the tram, but I want to try this. I think you can also get other things this way. 
So watch out for this thing. There we go. And we want to head up here. Is there a little a thing up here? Oh, there's a Jinjo. Okay, let's grab that. That's two. Um, okay, maybe I do need to actually take the tram to get back. Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to head on over to the uh, where the castle was, the inflatable castle. And we're going to take the tram across the area to get up to the top of the space zone. So, let's get that done. I'm, I know I'm going to go in the tent in due time. Don't you worry. I'm just saving it for last. It's, uh... I know it's just been standing there taunting us this entire time, but I have a plan. Don't you worry. Let's climb this thing. I also love the music in this level. Like, just the sound effect of, like, the music and then this thing creaking is just super nostalgic to me. Press B to experience the scenic splendor of the cable car ride across the, the space zone. Also, pay attention to the little platform the band is on because even that changes, which I kind of love. The texture slowly morphs. Look at that. Look at Witchy World. Ah, oh, what a level. What a level. So fun. And there we go. And there is, in fact, an empty honeycomb piece that we can go after, so that's pretty cool. Let's do that right now by making our... Ah, making our jump. You want to stand on the outside of this. Oh, come on. Get up. Okay, I'll stand on right here. There we go. And uh, as you can see, there is this thing here. So just want to time this properly, which it looks like we did. Okay, there we go. Watch out for those. Want to get too overzealous here, because one hit and you're going to the bottom. And there we go. All right, so there is this thing. And that, I believe, stays there forever for you to get up out here at any time. That doesn't break on you. But now we're going to want to beak bash that. And this is going to finally allow the box and the fuel depot to come on through and enter Witchy World once and for all. Yay! I love it. Oh, that is such a satisfying animation. Hi there, sir. How are you doing? Bleep, jump on board to ride the exciting saucer of peril. All right, let's do it. So for this one, we are going to be going on a separate track. or a, a, Sorry, a very... What was the word? A deliberate track, and we're going to have to uh, shoot as many targets as we can as we go. Blue targets are worth three, green are worth two, and red only one. To give you a chance, I'll give you some special eggs. Score 500 points to win first prize, or 400 for the second prize. Bleep. So let's do this thing. Oh, man, I am going to suffer at this one. This is not easy, but here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm already off to a great start, only getting a few of them. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is exactly what I was worried about when it came to the cursor. Okay, well we got three of those, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, jeez, oh, this is, this is already a bad start. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're doing a little better, we're doing a little better. Hit all the blue ones. Okay, we got 52. I don't, I don't think that's actually enough to start by going into Star Spinner. This is a long mini game, by the way. You're going to be going through pretty much every single section in the game. There we go. Okay, I could really use all those. Okay, I got some of them. Now, as you start to go really fast through sections, you are going to get much more valuable targets at the ready. Okay, there we go. Oh, man, I am not doing the best at all. Come on. Oh, man, if I don't get first prize this first time, I'm going to be very sad about it. There we go. So here we go fast. Okay, hit those. Get those blue ones. Those are super important. Oh, I missed that one blue one on the left. That's not very good. Oh, no, I missed another blue one. I am missing way too many of those. 173. Okay, not the, not the worst. Not the worst. We could definitely be doing worse than that for sure. Okay, we're doing a little better. There we go. Put those up here. There we go. Not so bad. I know there's a part where you're going to be, like, flipping upside down, and you have to hit... Oh, that... Okay, that was bad. You're going to... It's going to be a, a whole ring of, like, five blue ones. And, in fact, I think it's right here. Yes, it is. Okay, I only... I think I only got three of those, which is it, it, not the best. All right, there we go. Hit some more green ones. Get that blue one. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Making up some ground here at the end. I think, is that is that it for this area? Okay, there we go. Get those greens. Okay, I think... I think we're still on track for the first prize going into Crazy Castle. I just got to 
do very, very well in this area because this is actually the last section you're going to head on into before you go outside one last time. You end up finishing over at the Area 51 thing, obviously. And there we go. There we go. Now we're going sideways. Oh, gosh. Don't miss the blues. Ah. Okay. There we go. There. Ah. Don't be missing those. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. That was really bad there at the end. Very bad. I'm actually really worried I might not get first prize here now. Oh, boy. All right. Everything's fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, there we go. There we go. Making up a little bit of ground. Okay. I definitely needed that. We are almost at the end here. Okay, we're going to flip upside down again. Okay, I only got two of those. That's bad. I don't think I'm going to actually get it now. We'll see. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, we got it. Yes. Oh, man. Right at the end, we clutched it out. Okay. Woo. Holy cow. 519. Oh, man. That had me absolutely terrified. <laughs> <laughs> nice shooting. You win two bleeping prizes. A primitive paper thing. That's obviously the second prize. And the first prize is this shiny gold thing. A jiggy. There we go. And that's all my prizes gone. But why not write again to try and beat your best score? That is still a, like one of my favorite mini games. I played that game ad nauseum as a kid. Absolutely loved it. But all right. I think that is it for this area. So let's take a quick look at our totals really fast in witchy world so what do we still lack so we are lacking one cheeto page and two jiggies one of which i know for a fact i cannot get so let's go after that final jiggy that we can get and that means yes we are finally going to be heading into conga's big top and actually taking care of this thing oh boy do we have enough do i have grenade eggs okay i've got a full amount that's all i really need for this so let's go on inside What's up, Conga? How you doing? Huh, I see you have enough tickets now. Oh, we sure do, monkey boy. Eat them. <laughs> That's my shift over then. Enjoy the show. Come on, Banjo. Let's go grab a seat. Where do you think our seat will be? I can't see any seats. Perhaps we're supposed to sit on this big lump on the floor. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Kazooie. Yeah, it doesn't look very comfy at all. What's up? Oh, boy. Here we go. Yep, this is our boss fight of the level. And this is a pretty good one. Oh, dear. Not more intruders. Well, I'll show you who's boss. See how big and strong Mr. Patch is. Pa! You're not all that big, really. That Klungo freak near the start was probably bigger than you. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this, then? Um... Oh my gosh, he's huge! Yes, indeed. Mr. Patch is no slouch. Suppose you think you're clever, don't you? Well, one doesn't like to blow one's own trumpet. I sense a battle coming on. If you insist. Okay, so Patch is going to basically just wander back and forth between uh, across the room. And you are going to need to shoot each and every single one of his uh, patches. So on the ground here, use your grenade eggs if you can, to pop each and every one of those. Do oh, you found a weak spot. It looks like I might need some help here. So you'll have to beat me from the air now. So these things, if you stand on the ground for too long, are going to punch you and take you out of your aiming mode. So you want to hop up on these pads over here and fly up into the sky. Whoa, that was actually really, really close. And so now comes the airborne aiming stuff into play. So we got to fire these at Mr. Patch. Watch out for these balloons. So we're going to move out of the way of him so that he doesn't hit me with that. And let's turn around and let's see. Can I get him in the back of the neck here? Yes, indeed. Okay, let's move. Ah, ah, ah. Close. That was too close. Too close. Too close. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We can always go back on the ground and get some more eggs and feathers when need be. He does move around a lot, so you have to be aware of that. Ah, come on. Oh, gosh, dang it. Getting a little too close there. He doesn't move super fast. It's just all about lining up your shots. There we go. That was two shots. That was very, very good right there. I, I try not to stay in front of him too much if I can help it. But you do need to eventually see so that you can shoot him in the stomach and nose. Like so. Don't bump him at all. That will be an instant uh, hit, obviously. 
because he is a boss, and he is getting noticeably smaller, if you couldn't already tell. The more you hit him, the harder he becomes to hit. So I'm actually going to try to go over here, because I know he's about to turn around. Let's avoid his attacks. Those things are very annoying. And I actually want to go low, if I can, because he's got one on his the side of him that I missed. Oh, don't touch. Oh, that was very close. I almost touched the ground there. Okay, can I hit him here? There we go. All right, very good. And now we can face him from the front. In fact, I'm actually going to do this. Perfect. Let's grab ourselves some of these and fly on up. So if I'm not mistaken, you can actually, oh, if you aim right, you can actually hit those balloons. Ow. Hit him again and again. Did I get him with the last one? Okay, we got. he's got one more, and I think it's on his face, if I'm not mistaken. There was two on his face. What's up? Yep, yeah, it is. Let's fly. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, sir. You need to chill out. He is really little now. Really little. Okay, let's do that. Let's face him up. Where is he? There he is. What's up? I'm going to shoot that right there. Get him. Oh, we got him right at the end. Woo! And I'm glad I didn't take a self-hit for that. Uh-oh. Uh, looks like trouble. I love this. <laughs> yes. Perfect. What a great way to end that boss fight. That was actually always one of my favorite boss fights in the game. Very, very fun. Even when the controls are a little bit finicky. But uh, we got him. So let's hit the ground. And grab ourselves a Jiggy. I think those punching bad guys will still appear in here. So do be aware of that. But as long as you keep moving, they can't hit you. So let's get out of here. And uh, all that remains is one more Cheeto page. And that last Cheeto page that I missed is actually over here. So we're going to have to go through this entire little uh, situation one last time. Because I completely neglected to grab it like a doofus the first time I was in here. So, oops. Uh, but we'll start the next episode in Spiral Mountain and we'll actually finally talk to Cheeto this time. So you're going to actually notice that there is a ledge that you can grab. So let's take that over. I don't... Is there any enemies here? I really hope there's not. Okay, let's go over this way and just climb up here. And there it is. So now if we take a look at our totals... One last time. There we go. All we're missing is one Jiggy, and of course that is going to involve the the child. Rescuing the final child, which of course we cannot do at the moment. As I said before, we won't be getting the ability to do that until much later in the game. So with all of that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. I hope you've all enjoyed it very, very much. In the next episode, we're going to be heading on back to, well, first of all, Spiral Mountain and grabbing ourselves a couple cheats. And then we're going to go in, put those cheats, and then afterwards we're going to be opening up ourselves a few more levels in this game. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all then.